and we're actually extend this out through Monday and Tuesday because I won't be able to record on Monday or Tuesday. So I'll be back on Wednesday, like last week, with a look at your um, forecast for the rest of the work week. So uh, what is uh, the weather pattern looking like? We've been in a cool flow from Canada kind of pattern, and that is going to slowly transform into more of a southwesterly and more moist flow um, as we head through the week, which is going to lead to us having uh, our kind of a rainy day, particularly on Tuesday. Um, we also have a shot at some showers tomorrow. So uh, we can see the pattern has flipped. We had been very much with a pretty good sized trough over the east, which is still sort of there. But what's really changed is there was a huge ridge to our west, which is kind of forcing the flow up over the ridge and then down across the east um, and cooling us off. Uh, uh, not cool really because it's just because it's June, but in terms of just keeping our temperatures uh, nice and very, very comfortable for this time of year. Um, and now as the flow is going to go more zonal and eventually a little bit from the southwest, and we'll start to get some more heat and humidity in here as we go forward in time. Um, in terms of satellite, you can kind of see what's happening. Um, and uh, where the, we have like the cool air separated from the really warm, moist tropical air, we do have a, one area of thunderstorms. Some of this is going to kind of, as a leftover fashion, going to come through tomorrow and give us a chance at a few showers with thunderstorms uh, really coming to kind of tomorrow and overnight as this boundary approaches. Um, but right now, this looks really impressive in terms of uh, how much uh, thunder and lightning and rain is happening with that, but that is not really going to just train across here. It's mostly going to kind of dissipate through the day and then redevelop. Um, and by the time it gets here, it'll really be tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening before we see any of those showers or thunderstorms. And they should be relatively brief here. It won't be a widespread outbreak because we don't have the kind of heat and humidity just to ourselves that these storms did yesterday. Um, in terms of temperatures, you can see we're kind of locked into this one small pocket, but the warm air has started to spill up and over the top of our trough. Um, and so as we start this, some of this air from kind of the west of us is going to start to head in. And you can see we're kind of stuck in the last of the really, really warm air or really, really cool air, I should say, um, across New England. Um, here's our setup for Saturday, that low pressure system and the front, uh, weak front that's coming with it starting to approach us by midday. And so like by late afternoon and early evening, we're looking at some showers on Saturday. Could be a few rumbles of thunder with those showers as well. In terms of the forecast itself, um, today we do have a few increasing clouds. Some of those spillover clouds from that thunderstorm complex yesterday could make their way in here by later on in the day. Shouldn't be anything too dramatic, but just a little milky or look to the sky um, instead of absolute full sun like we've had lately. Saturday, um, really probably a pretty good day for the most part um, and, and a little bit warmer. We're up into the low 80s by tomorrow um, with a few afternoon showers, though, so we'll have to keep an eye out to the sky for that. Um, could be a rumble of thunder as well. Sunday, we start to warm up a little bit more. We're in the low 80s, uh, beautiful day, full sun. Humidity is not too bad yet, although it is starting to build. Monday is kind of a warm, hot, humid day with some afternoon storms as uh, we start to um, really get into the soup on Monday. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on the strength of those storms. And then Tuesday looks like we're going to be pretty rainy um, in the soup. Um, so it'll be upper 70s and we'll be probably uh, very humid. It'll feel very warm but uncomfortable, unfortunately. And we'll be, like I said, we'll see some rain. We could use the rain, so that won't be a bad thing. Uh, in terms of activities, today's a great day. Tomorrow's actually a pretty good day, too. Just keep an eye out for that brief afternoon shower. Sunday's a good day if you're going to head to the beach. That's probably the best beach day we've had in the last little while. Monday would actually be a good day for the beach as well, but you're going to have to keep an eye out for those afternoon storms. But otherwise, it's a good beach day. It'll be hot and humid. You want to get in the water. And Tuesday's kind of a soggy uh soupy days tuesday's not a great kind of summer day unfortunately it's one of those days it's just uncomfortably warm and also wet outside all right um that's a look at your next five days like i said i'll be back on wednesday morning with a look at the end of the week forecast and a quick preview of next weekend thanks for joining me if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel before i'd encourage you to do that and um also um if you want to support the channel in a more, in a more uh, uh um, direct way, you can uh, become a patron, and uh, there are details on how to do that on my Patreon site, which you can follow the link below to get to.